Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. In today's video, I'll be using Honeybee Stamps Succulent Garden Builder Die Set, their Vintage Picnic Basket Die Set, Thinking of You Big Time Stamps and Coordinating Honey Cut Dies. For pattern paper, I'll be using Giddy for Gingham and also Grain and Grunge. I selected one of the lovely wood grain pattern papers for the background. I'm adding a strip of sort of a cream colored cardstock at the bottom of the card, and it does have a pearlescent finish on one side. I'll put some ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base, and this is an American standard A2 size card, four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. I couldn't resist making a pink basket, I selected one of the pink ginghams for the main portion of the basket and a solid pink cardstock for that back piece and also the handles. I'm adding just a little bit of color to the front of the basket, the inside of the basket using Catherine Pooler's Coral Cabana ink color. Now it's time to assemble the basket and this is so easy to assemble. I'll use some liquid adhesive, put it on the back of that front piece of the basket and layer it on top of the solid pink piece for the background of the basket. When gluing those two pieces together, I did leave that very front piece without adhesive. That way I'll be able to tuck the succulents right into the basket. Now I'll assemble both of the handles. There are two pieces for each handle plus the tiny little dot for that metal fastener. I did use an embellishment wand to help pick up that teeny tiny dot. I used a slightly darker shade of pink cardstock for the handles of the basket. Just glue those two pieces together. Then I'll place them on top of the basket so it looks like the handle wraps around the back side. I'll adhere the right handle down first. And I was ready to adhere the left handle and was upside down. I'm trying to make sure to get them evenly placed. Then I'll flip over the whole basket using some of the tear tape from Honeybee Stamps. This is the 1 8 inch size. And I'm adding just a small piece behind the handle to secure it in place. Now I'll flip it over and add all the different succulent plants inside the vintage picnic basket. I've already cut out all of the pieces and I was storing them inside the lid of the chamois case from Honeybee Stamps. I used several shades of green cardstock, and this was all cardstock from my scrap bin. And one of the greens has a pearlescent finish on one side. I'll put just a small drop of liquid adhesive at the bottom of the succulent before tucking it inside the basket. I cut out lots of die cut pieces trying to really fill up that basket. I'll add the taller pieces and the back pieces down first, then the succulents that will be in the front I'll add last. I love the variety of different succulents included on the die set. So once I have my basket all filled, I'll use a white gel pen and add some highlights to the plants and also to the pink basket. I have a scrap piece of paper sitting on the side just to make sure the pen is flowing smoothly. Sometimes they get a little clogged up. In some areas, I'm adding tiny little dots. In other areas, I'm putting little straight lines. No real pattern, just mixing and matching the highlights throughout the plants. Now I'll put some foam dimension on the back side using Honeybee Stamps Thin Foam Strips in white. This is some of my favorite foam dimension. It's nice and thin so it doesn't add a lot of dimension to the card. Plus you can easily cut down all of those strips. Make sure to get good coverage. Remove the release paper and adhere my basket onto the front of my card. Now I'll work on the sentiment. For this card, I'm using the sentiment Hello. I have a piece of white cardstock in my Mini Misty, and I'm using the Spruce Ink Color from Catherine Pooler. I'm also using Honeybee Stamps Stamp Pressure Tool to help get nice, even coverage. Next, I'll use the Coordinating Honey Cut Die to cut out the sentiment. It's always nice to have the coordinating dies to cut out sentiments. I've already put some foam dimension on the back of the sentiment and I'll adhere it to the top of the card above my pink vintage picnic basket. For embellishments, I'm using some of the cool pearls from Honeybee Stamps. I selected one of the very light gray colors, put three of them around the sentiment. 
Then for a final finishing touch, I'm adding a little bit of sparkle to some of the succulents using Nouveau Glitter Drops. This is the Silver Crystals color. So there is my finished card, and I did make two using this design. I love how the pink and green really pop against that light colored background. If you are interested in any of the products I used in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.